happen but so the thing much. is just right this is not just modern women this is young women this is old women mm-hmm. and that's the jacked up part about it mm-hmm. their mouths just keep popping off and it's not popping off in the right ways what does that mean vacuum <laughs> seal nigga vacuum seal right mm-hmm. we want your mouth to pop off in the right i want to pop off but you pop the mouth off in the right way okay that's what i want not for you to be yapping and gossiping shut up but keep it open <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> Welcome to the S Banks and JD Network podcast. I'm your host, S Banks TV, and I'm joined with my co-host, JD Network. And we're going to um, react to a clip that we seen on a um, world star. I've seen, I'm pretty sure I've seen it a few months ago, probably. Uh, it's been out a while, but this, for me, men definitely need to take heed to what this um person is saying in the video Mm -hmm. because some guys just see a nice romp and they're thinking yeah whatever it's all good and they put themselves in a mad sticky situation so what i want to do i want to just play the clip straight away because there's no point me giving you the context of it because she gave so much free game i think you should just listen to it straight away so without further delay let me play that clip and we're going to come that by the way, there's two parts to the clip and we've broken it down. So we're going to play the first part and then we're going to play the second part. And then after that, we've got a, another video for you and then we'll close out. So without further delay, let me play that first clip for you and then we'll come back and have that conversation. Without further delay, here's that clip. Number three, you got to get you a bitch, bro, that value privacy. You got to get you a female, bro, that understand the importance of privacy. You got to get you a woman, bro, that understand what privacy means. Y'all be with these hoes and she looks great. Great. Ass A1. Body A1. Outfits be A1. Have herself together. Hygiene be up. The hoe don't know nothing about privacy. So anything you do with her, anything you say to her, anything y'all got going on, she'll run to Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, the motherfucking church, the neighborhood, the club, the hair salon, the nail shop, and tell everything. A lot of y'all niggas, you get set up and robbed. A lot of y'all niggas, you end up losing your, your, your valuables. You end up losing your assets. You end up losing relationships with your kids behind holes that don't know the importance of privacy. Y'all be with these bitches and these hoes tell and talk about everything. They don't understand how to manage emotions because they have no real sense of self-care, which is number two. And when you make these bitches mad, they will tell things about what y'all got going on that you shouldn't. And this is especially important for you street niggas. Y'all be with these young hoes and y'all feel like because she cute or because, you know, all the other niggas want her or the ops cross town want your bitch and all of that. That's all well and dandy. It sound good on a rap song, over a beat nigga, or in a music video. But in real life, when you have one of these bitches that as soon as they get mad at you, they going to tell everything y'all got going on. It's the quickest way to get your ass set up, robbed, or for another nigga to know where y'all live at or what y'all got going on. It's not cute, my G. It's not cool. It's not going to work out in the end. Do y'all understand what I'm explaining? The whole got to have some sort of sense of me and my nigga got to have some shit going on that everybody else don't fucking know about. Another thing is, a lot of these hoes y'all talk to, they don't know how to stand on their own enough to where they don't tell their family everything y'all got going on. Some of y'all, the whole brother, her mama, her sister, know everything you got going on, including that one time you was on that pill and couldn't get your dick hard, including that one time you got robbed, them niggas took your money, including that one time when your ass didn't come home and she threw all your stuff out on the porch and you cried, my nigga. She told us everything. Everything. And it's sad. You picking the wrong type of bitches. For y'all young niggas, if you get this shit early, you will grow up and have a lot less stress in your life. A lot of y'all niggas, the main source of stress in y'all life come from lack of money and the type of bitches that y'all be having around y'all. Do y'all understand what I'm explaining? Because I'm telling y'all some G-ass shit. Okay. That was the end of um, clip one. There was so much, there was so much facts on top of facts. It's kind of like, what do I add? Mm -hmm. (laughs) But you know what? I'm going to give context to it. 
but I'll let you start. Ladies first. What 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 first came to you when you heard that clip? When I first heard that clip, my thoughts were I agree with her totally. Yeah. Why <laughs> the hell don't some women know how to just shut their damn mouth? <laughs> Why must you talk, 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 talk to everyone or to anyone that will listen? Learn to don't zip you it. think? Don't you think um, it's about attention? If I say to you, I've got problems or wherever I'm talking about, women always turn it around and make it about them. Mm-hmm. It's how selfish it's their software, right? Mm-hmm. It's not about selfish. It's how it's how it's, they are. Yeah. So there was so much free game in it. I could end this podcast now. (laughs) It's true. (laughs) I could just play this clip Mm -hmm. and end the podcast now. But we ain't going to do that. No. (laughs) I know you want to hear us some more because we've got a second part to it and we've got another video that we're going to react to as well. But what else do you want to add to it? And I'm going to add, I got some points myself. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying the ladies go first today. Thank you. (laughs) So yeah. what, What do you think? Look, For the ladies, why do some of you not know how to just keep things in house? You must. Mm -hmm. I don't know what their thought process is, but you do. You're a female. (laughs) Okay, that's true. But all okay, I can't say all. It's uh, it's we're generalizing. Exactly. It might seem like we're talking about all females. We're not. So I just have to clarify. Some women. Just do not know how to keep things in house and to close their mouth or know when yeah. to close their mouth. Yeah. They like to talk their talk about their personal business and then wonder why people are talking about you behind your back or why certain people know your information. It's because you're the one that said it. You can't be mad at the people that found out what you said. But women, women can be illogical. Mm-hmm. They're feelings based. We are. They're not going to be rational and understand that these things that I'm saying and the information I'm putting out, whether they're doing that subconsciously or consciously, say subconscious, say say a subconscious thing. Mm -hmm. They're not looking at how a dude will look and say, "Raw, this could affect me. There's the aftermath. There's things that come with this BS. Mm -hmm. They just say in the moment, this gives me attention. Everyone's talking and I'm the center of attention in this situation Mm -hmm. i think that's how most women kind of see things yes but just because you may be center of attention (laughs) in that moment Mm -hmm. doesn't mean you need to talk about your private life from what's happened inside your household i I agree so does it come down something else does it come down to female nature or does it come down to maturity i'm gonna more say maturity there's there's levels to the game but Mm -hmm. i'll say this to to the fellas so one of my notes is this she looks good on the outside and rotten on the inside. Mm-hmm. So many men would bypass the red flags just to have a trophy chick on his arm mm-hmm. because subconsciously so many when so many men want female validation. Whether they want whether they admit that or not, but they want female validation. Oh, I want to parade around this chick that looks hot to show everybody I got it like that. I'm that guy. Not realizing this chick is going to be your downfall. Mm-hmm. That's the truth. It happens to so many men all the time. I got a hot girl, but at what cost? Exactly. <laughs> you have to weigh out the pros and the cons. The pros is she's beautiful, but many many men turn full for a woman with a pretty face and a big bum. Yep. <laughs> yep. She got a she got a uh, she got a big bum, small waist. Yeah, and she's booming. Mm-hmm. And they go, I don't care if she's jacked up. I don't care. Look at PJ Washington. In my opinion, Brittany Rayne and all that. Mm-hmm. She's okay. She ain't nothing to brag home about. But in his brain, she was up here. Mm-hmm. And that's cool. Beauty is not so subjective to how you think it is. But in his brain, it was subjective. And he's thinking, you know what? She's a hot chick. I can't tell you what to like or what to dislike, but she was a hot chick. She was an eight, nine or a 10 to him. He was willing to bypass all the BS that she was saying. 
just to parade around a hot chick. Yeah. And where did it get him? That's where it got him. <laughs> it got him a big... <laughs> you have to pick wisely. You can't just yeah. pick up any uh, anything just because she's beautiful mm. or just because she has a banging body. What about the core, man? The core. Yeah, but how many women... Let's, call, let's talk about the bait and switch. Mm -hmm. How many women appear to be cool at first? As soon as you and them have a falling out, that pillow talk that you had with them, mm -hmm. you effed up. It's everyone's business. You in a mad sticky situation. Mm -hmm. That girl is not even thinking this ish could come back on me and I can get caught up slipping. <laughs> I'm talking deep, deep down. Mm -hmm. Right. If you catch what I'm saying. They ain't thinking that they're saying in the moment it is what it is. So I'm just saying to the fellas, you have to be mindful of the people you keep around you. I read the small print. Niggas can be bitches too. That's very true. <laughs> so don't just think, oh, it's all females. Mm -hmm. Look, if you think about our community, the black community, right? Our community, we're raised 80% single mothers. So those dudes, they have that female, that effeminate mentality. So... They're going to move in a certain way. I'm not saying all, but mm -hmm. it is what it is. But a lot of dudes, they move like bitches. <laughs> Let's be real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. So you just have to be mindful of the things that you say to people. Because there's a lot of devils out there, a lot of malicious MFs out there. Yeah. See, I'm saying the nice words because I don't want to <laughs> have to. I don't want to have to go into Final Cut and <laughs> edit all these <laughs> things out. So I'm trying to say the nice words to help mm -hmm. my editing down. But it's true though. Mm -hmm. A lot of dudes will see red flags and say, "Hey, I'm gonna do what I'm doing. I don't care." Yep. And then you're gonna end up paying the cost. Then you're gonna end up in problems. <laughs> exactly. That's facts. In problems, man. Um. I put, I'm going to say the majority of men, they don't want a woman with a big mouth. They don't let's want say, a woman. Let's say most men. Most, okay. <laughs> let's say most men. I think that sounds okay, better. Cool. Okay, let's say most men. Correction. They don't want a woman with a big mouth. I don't, they do. I, I, they do. In a the, certain but, way. But for the right reasons. Exactly. I want a big mouth for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. So not to chat your business. <laughs> because no. just like... You mentioned pillow talk. So yeah. he, he says something to you in the moment or whatever. Yeah. Maybe about how he's feeling, for example. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then because, and then he does something or says something to you that you didn't like. She tried to use that as ammunition to get back at exactly. him or to, to whatever, whatever her agenda is. There you go. Oh, uh, the other day, I swear you was crying in my lap. Like a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I know. There you go. Yeah. So I'm going to say that. Most men don't like that. So so the advice would be, fellas, screen and vet. And don't get me wrong. Some of these women are good. And you have one or two that slip through the cracks. And listen, we don't have that Jedi thing where we, the force ain't with all of us. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes even the force gets it wrong. So the ones that fall through the cracks, some are just good. Bait and switch. Some are just really good at their game. And before you know it, well, didn't you say this? And like she said, road man, certain man that's doing certain kind of things. Be careful exactly. of who you're laying up with. Look at the whole situation with Biggie and Tupac, man. Who the fuck Faith Evers would do something like that? Yep. She knew that my man's in beef with my man, but still trying to sleep with the enemy just to get the bag and to get the attention on her. Yeah, but you're Come already with a guy that has the bag. No, you're married to this, you're married, exactly. you're married to this man. I thought that was the goal. She, she didn't understand self-awareness and self-care that this would come back on me mm -hmm. you was a, a pawn in another guy's situation but nonetheless guys have to be mindful of females that are like that mm -hmm. females that think a certain way it's a certain kind of mindset so fellas free game check these women out screen vet screen vet do it again and keep damn well doing it mm -hmm. or you're gonna end up <laughs> Got locked up, the won't let me out. <laughs> How many men got that? Exactly. How many men got locked up? Or the, no. op, the ops. The, the, the thing is this, right? Ops, I've, look, personally, I know that shit, right? Mm -hmm. So many guys, a few guys I've known, 
got caught slipping in so many different ways mm-hmm. from the ops or from the popo or from snaky family or friends it doesn't matter popo ops listen when you're facing how many years mm-hmm. that's good enough i can deal with the snaky friends <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i want to be on road i do my time on the street mm-hmm. no, i'm, but I'm saying get, they yeah. can put you in problems so yeah. you get snaky family and friend yeah and friends who will go as far as yeah. doing some crazy stuff mm. Right, things they're not supposed to do, just because of what your woman did. Yeah, some some women, they're like um, Judas. Look how Judas done Jesus, but some women don't even want their thirty pieces of silver. Mm-hmm. They just want to f you over. They even trying to get paid for it. They say the 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 the, the person says, "Here's your thirty pieces of silver." No, I want to do it for free. I want to f them over. Yeah. Hey. It's how they think. Mm-hmm. Not all women, no. but this is a situation that men need to actually reevaluate and don't just go with a butt that's booming. No. Pretty face. In the words of Ice Cube, never trust up with a hooker's body. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because it, is it they not got true? a banging body. That's what lowers men in. And then nothing else. And then men start to think with the other head and not w- with what's up here. Mm-hmm. I've seen this so many times. So many times. It's yeah. very true. <laughs> if you screen and vet these women, mm. you can narrow them down. And listen, do, mm. it's, it, it'll kind of be clear. Because <laughs> the, the women that have big mouths, you'll tend to see that they just chat a lot. And, what, and they chat about, about all sorts of different things. What about that, okay? the ones that are not so obvious? You see, there <laughs> are ones that are not so obvious. Yeah. There are ones that are very good at their game. Very good. So that's why, just like you said, you have to keep screening and vetting. Don't just do it the one time yeah. because you have to go against those women who are very good at what they do. Yeah. So you have to keep doing it, screen and vet again. Yeah. After a while, from especially from talking to someone for a while, you'll eventually see the patterns. Yeah, Pe- because because humans are a creature of habit. So exactly. So yeah. they'll keep repeating and yeah. then you'll start to see and say, oh, so yeah. you're de- you're deceptive. But, you're deceptive. But, but, you, but you say keep repeating, but that's the obvious thing, right? But mm-hmm. if someone's talking behind your back and saying things about you, mm-hmm. that's something you will never know unless someone brings that to your attention. attention. Exactly. So you didn't know. So you're going to continue talking and saying what you're saying, mm-hmm. not even to say you're saying it in a malicious way, but you might be saying shit and someone might be twisting and saying things out of context because of whatever reason and, and for their land own you, secret agendas. Land you effed up. Yeah. Let's talk about and women. make you look like the bad person. Yeah, I agree. Let's switch gears. Let's talk about women that are one of my notices. What about women that are are um, not raised to be wives? Mm-hmm. They're unteachable. Mm-hmm. What about women like that? Some women, not all women, are meant to be married. You know. Yeah. Not all dudes are meant to have children. No. This is actual fact. So, what about women like that? So they might appear nice. They're feminine. They might be. They might be. They might have all the trimmings <laughs> that men want. There are in that dude's eyes. Mm-hmm. But they're a devil. How does the song say? They're a devil in a blue dress. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Old school, right? Mm-hmm. Some are just that way inclined. It is where it is. You see what I'm saying? But what 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 else do you want to add on that? Oh, what else do I want to add? Mm-hmm. There's a lot. <laughs> um, a lot of women will literally go anywhere and chat their business to anyone who would listen. I said that a little bit earlier. Yes. Earlier on. Um, they, always, they will go as far to talk in their business in churches. When they go to church. Yep, yep, yep. When at the hairdressers. They nail go, salon. They, they, they might want to burn you at the stake because you said something about the church. You, the people, people in the church, you know, they say, um, was it, was it whispers, gossip? Is that, that is, that's a sin, right? Yeah, it is. But majority of them do it. I don't know. I'm just saying. I had to put it out there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> They'll go as far to put in your business on social media. They'll go as far as talking to their exes about what is happening in your current situation with yeah. the person. And family and friends, just like the woman mentioned as well. Yeah. You chat, 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 chat to all these people and don't know how to keep things in house. Mm-hmm. Learn 
and understand when to close your mouth. Stop yeah. talking but, but so much. But the thing much. is just right. This is not just modern women. This is young women. This is old women. Uh-huh. And that's the jacked up part about it. Uh-huh. Their mouths just keep popping off and it's not popping off in the right ways. What does that mean? Vacuum <laughs> seal, nigga. Vacuum seal. <laughs> right? Uh-huh. We want your mouth to pop off in the right. I want to pop off, but you pop the mouth off in the right way. Okay. That's what I want. Not for you to be yapping and gossiping. Shut up, but keep it open. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, that segues me into the, let's, let, let me play, we have two parts of this clip. Let me play the clip number two, and then we're going to have that conversation and we'll go from there. So without further delay, here's clip number two. All right, cool. The fourth thing is, does the bitch have submissive energy in your presence? Now, a lot of hoes don't even understand what being submissive to a man mean. They think it mean, oh, love, you saying do what a nigga tell you to do. Down in Miami, at them surgery centers, they don't do no surgeries that can teach a bitch how to be submissive to a man. Up in Atlanta, where they had them surgery centers and shit, not in Houston, Texas and shit, they don't got no motherfucking surgery to be able to help a bitch understand how to be a woman. They don't have that. They don't have college courses to teach you how to submit in the presence of a real man. Y'all niggas got to pay attention to a whole energy when she around you. If a nigga, act, if a bitch act like a whole nigga in your presence, that's not the bitch for you. Females get soft in the midst of alpha niggas that they feel like it's that nigga. If you around a bitch and she jump at you and talk to you like you just one of her homegirls or her little brother, bro, that's not the bitch for you. Y'all wife niggas that, y'all wife bitches that treat y'all like they little brother. They be calling you bro and shit, trying and shit, telling you better hurry up, talking to you any kind of way, telling all your business and shit. She got no submissive energy towards you, bro, at all. None. So it don't matter how many of her bills you pay. It don't matter how fat her ass is, how many times you done hit it wrong, if them kids, your kids or not. If a hoe don't have no submissive energy towards you as a man, you ain't really her motherfucking man anyway. And that's a lot of the problem that you niggas having in y'all life. These hoes is handling y'all like bitches. You ain't supposed to take a bitch serious that don't take you serious as a man. And if a hoe don't understand the importance of submission in the presence of a man... That ain't the bitch for you, bro. Trying to help you niggas out. <laughs> Listen, that was free game on top of free game. Um, fellas listening, man. Women take heed. Stand out, man. Yeah. For me, actions speak louder than words. Mm-hmm. Sometimes people's handshake don't match their smiles. So I would just say take heed to that. Um the I, women okay, go so on, the, the 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 women that are the older women that are raising these young girls mm-hmm. these young girls turn out to be honey trap chicks set up chicks and then those older mothers or women be like i didn't see that coming really with that big mouth of yours you wonder why how 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 it went from this standard and it le- and it went higher and higher mm-hmm. come on that virus spread what do you think <laughs> give, give us oh, some of your thoughts it's spread all right yeah to the Why? wrong ears <laughs> uh-huh. mm. um i would like people to put in the comments if you think women today know how to be submissive to their men put in the comments if you believe women of today know even know how to be submissive but women of today yeah people so let me say let me read my back okay so put in the comments what you think do women of today know how to be submissive but what i will say i will say is i think women today see being submissive as slavery yeah but tell us your thoughts now one thing she said in that video was this and i've seen this it's happened to me Mm -hmm. i ain't to my own horn but Certain kind of men, certain kind of alpha dudes, women get mushy in their presence. Mm -hmm. So then when you're that dude and you're having that pillow talk, saying things out of turn, things you shouldn't say to that woman, things she shouldn't know. And she's around a dude. Let's say the ops, for example, 
So she's around the dude that you don't want, that she shouldn't be around. He doesn't like you. He's alpha. She gets mushy around him. She starts telling him things that she really shouldn't be telling him. Mm -hmm. And this could be your baby moms. She even thinking about, oh, I got children. It leaves them in jeopardy. This is the situation. All she thinks of is right here, right now. She ain't even thinking about the aftermath. And women get mushy in the presence of alpha, alpha. dudes. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that's the point that she brought up. Yeah. Because I've seen this. That was actually one of my points as well. I want you to touch on that. She said that women get mushy. We get soft <laughs> being in front of alpha males. We do. Our senses start to go off. When, yeah. when, when say you're in a room mm -hmm. with quite a few people and yeah. an alpha man enters that room, the energy changes. It's yeah. like, hold on a second. You, we naturally get drawn to that person. It's like, yeah. why, why my attention's just at that person? Yeah. It's because he's an alpha. So what she does for one dude is totally different than what she does for the other dude. Mm -hmm. So fellas, take heed. When you see her moving a certain way, you're supposed to be. Take heed to that, man. I know sometimes women can be like Decepticons. You ain't going to see that. But watch her actions. Mm -hmm. Stop pillow talking to these women just because. Because sometimes men say the dude doesn't have many friends like that. And it's just somewhat to vent to because there's not there's not a lot of um, outlets and platforms for men to go to to kind of express themselves. Yeah. So I understand what it's just someone to talk to and women can be so subtle and nice and kind. And it makes you just want to just release. Yeah. And I'm not talking in that way. You just want to release and speak to someone. I get it. But you should be able to speak to your but we, partner. But, but as men, we mm -hmm. don't have these platforms. No. So a dude might be linking a thing and he's thinking, I just want to talk to somebody. I don't like the way I'm living. I don't, uh, I'm, I've i got some, some problems, some issues, and I just want to speak to somebody. Mm -hmm. And then he just vents to that girl, not realizing that that girl is like, yes, gotcha. <laughs> not knowing it's, gotcha. and it's going to be a big, we live and we learn, but some of us don't get to live and learn. No. I've seen this so many times. What else are you going to add on it? <laughs> Fellas, do not be fooled by those <laughs> women mm -hmm. with banging bodies. They they look feminine. So they dress the part. They exactly. look the part, right? They have banging bodies. They even take care of themselves. Yeah. But they're extremely masculine and inside. She said, and she said it in the video. They, yeah. they, they have all the trimmings that men want. Exactly. Just the mindset's not there. The software is just jacked up. Someone poured water on their software and now the computer doesn't move right. Literally the CPU not. <laughs> is, is not right. Yes. The CPU is all off. Mm -hmm. The navigation left or right is not sure which one's which. Up is that or what's down. happening to you now? <laughs> yes, they go in like that. Johnny Five. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. That's how it goes. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Yes, don't be fooled by the exterior. Mm. Just because I understand men are visual and yeah. you like what you see. I don't blame you in that, yeah. but don't be silly. Don't yeah. be stupid. There's women, they are very, there's some women that are just very masculine. Yeah. Their mindset is not feminine, although they dress feminine and yeah. they convey themselves as that, but they're not deep down. So just don't be fooled. That's just where I'm going with that. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's cool. I would like also, sorry, for putting the comments. This is to the ladies. If you love being around alpha men, put in the comments if you love being around them. And do alpha men, do alpha males turn you on? <laughs> You're asking a is rhetorical question. That, that, that's, that's pretty much a rhetorical question, but mm -hmm. fair enough, man. Put in the comments what you guys think. I think most women want that top 20% dude. Mm -hmm. um, so but that's some my women opinion. are a bit weird. You, you'll that's be true. surprised sometimes in the comments on what they'll actually say. Listen, I know females all too well. Mm -hmm. So I get it. I hate you. And I a lot you. of women like to cap. Yeah. Yeah. So 
It's all good. Let's let's talk about um, bad locks. So, whoever don't know what bad locks are, it's just women pretty much that has poor judgment in men. So, they just don't get the thing right. Things like what um, my girl was saying in the clip. Mm-hmm. She's that's a that's a bad lock. She doesn't get it. So, dudes, from when you meet a girl and she like she gets mushy around alpha dude, she don't know how to hold it down for the dude that she's with. She's already like. You meet a girl and then she's already telling you, oh, it's the man's fault. She's already showing you no accountability on her part. We, we, she's saying he was abusive. He was this, he was that. And then when you start peeling back the layers, you start talking to her. You start dissecting and saying, yeah, but that don't make no sense. And she goes, well, 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 we was both blah, blah, blah. And then she deflects and then she does the whole sign language. Red flag. Come on, man. <laughs> and that was me just giving you a basic free game. Basic free game. What else you want to add on, on, on the topic? Because I'm probably going to just move to the next clip. But add your point. <laughs> For those women that love to chat too much, they're informers. What's it, how does that song Informer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, that's what was in my head. <laughs> that's mm. exactly what was in my head. <laughs> informers. You seriously have to be careful with women that's like that on a real though. Yeah. You yeah. really do, On a especially note. if you have children with that woman. Yeah, you already made a mistake there. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. But we live and we learn. But you really have to be careful what you say and even what you show them or what mm-hmm. they see you doing. Yeah, don't do certain things around these women. Don't yeah. say certain things around these women. Unfortunately, for some, you're already in it with her, as in you have kids with her, or maybe you married someone that was like that. But yeah, maybe know. after listening to this yeah. podcast, you, you live and you learn. Don't d- continue doing yeah. some of the things you're doing because it will come back to bite you in the bum. One, one of my one of my points is this: too many men are just so craven for women; mm-hmm. they're willing to accept any old bad behavior mm-hmm. just because they want to smash. Yeah, and that's that's sad because a lot of men. They may be, they might scrub up clean. They're good looking dude. Doing well for themselves. And they think this is the best. This is the peak for them. What, because of her looks? Yeah, I mm-hmm. can't do no better. And then you say to that woman, what do you bring to the table? I am the table. Then you got to do this alpha, ain't got ish. And she's like, oh my God. Like potty in his hands. Mm-hmm. There's this dude breaking his back to please this woman. Dudes, stop being craving for these crusty things. Crusty. Crusty. <laughs> mm-hmm. Crackers. Jacobs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So for me, guys, man, we 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 definitely need to and, and especially the young guys. She she touched on the young guys as in that's the that listen, more time that's a man's downfall. Women. Mm-hmm. More time a man's downfall is women, bad women. There's many good women out there. Despite what we might see, mm-hmm. there's so many good women out there, but so many guys go for the face value. And I understand from a man's perspective, as in we're physical. So we see what we see and we're like, yeah, man. Yeah. See that nice rump. I want to hit that. Mm-hmm. I get it, man. But you need to understand that. Not everything is green on the other, not everything is green on the other side. Yeah. True. I get it, man. But mm. this is where we need to kind of take heed. So fellas, man, definitely take heed to what's being said that that's my final thing on that video um i don't know if you want to add anything more before we go to the next video um i'll just say for the fellas mm. as you were saying even if you're it's not a relationship type of thing and you're just linking these girls you need to also be careful in that as well yeah. because some women you can't take to your house yeah some women say you got um a hotel for example i know sometimes you can't even bring them there I know. you have to be very careful <laughs> where you bring these girls you have to, you be, have to be very careful you have to be strategic mm-hmm. i hear that i hear that man i agree with you man i agree with you but um let's react to the next video and close out without further delay here's clip number three totally different thing but tell us what you think I think it would be right if I didn't take this moment, bro. 
to publicly apologize to you, man. I did some fucked up shit to my brother. Some snake ass shit. And I'm not proud of it, man. So I want to sit here humbly and sincerely apologize for you, to you for any turmoil or dysfunction I caused between you and your family, bro. Love y'all. Nah, wait a minute, man. We gotta talk about oh, We gotta show them why we love them now. Come on. Okay, come on. It's only right. <laughs> that was the end of that clip. That was Little Fizz um, apologizing to Omarion for that whole situation, getting with his baby mom. Let hey, me say bro. this, man. Mm. Jealousy is envious. Suffering is greed. Mm -hmm. That's two pack lyrics. <laughs> and trust no shadow of the dark. Because when a man is envious of you, there's pretty much nothing he won't do to step on you do step off or get stepped on <laughs> right that might go over some people's heads and my man clearly would little fizz let me first let me let me let me let me rewind a little bit <laughs> let me ask a question question i have here in one of my notes question for the men if your friend done this to you could you forgive him for that put in the comments if you're if your guy that you know for a minute, mm -hmm. it's your brethren, it's like your brother. Slept with your baby mom's, your girlfriend. Ex girlfriend, but whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your baby mom, mm -hmm. your girlfriend, your ex girlfriend, whichever way you want to chop and slice it, could you forgive him? I was actually going to ask put, you. Please put in the comments. You can you ask me <laughs> that question. Ask, ask you me the, the question. same question. Ask me the question. <laughs> would you could you forgive your see, friend see the thing is this i can forgive someone but i ain't gonna forget mm -hmm. now in with with omarion and little fizz clearly little fizz had some envy and he felt by taking my chick whether she was my ex or not in his brain he believed that that's going to have some form of power over Omarion. Mm -hmm. He wasn't even, look, is he sorry because the relationship didn't work out? Or is he sorry because the bag got effed up? He was, don't get me wrong. Little Fizz, no disrespect. He strikes me as someone that's naive. A beta male. I don't even think he's purple pill. I don't think he gets female nature. I don't. April Jones. Mm -hmm. manipulated him to get a, a strike a strike on Omarion mm -hmm. and that's what that's what we were talking about in the first clip these crafty women she knew what she was doing mm -hmm. and she used him and he was the fool to get used he yeah. was a tool and when she was finished with him she chewed him up and spat him right back out yeah literally. and he didn't even see you. no messed up the bag you're not even together Oh, now you're back to your boy and you realize, raw, I'm back to my G's that was there from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Why couldn't this guy see this, man? We all make mistakes. We do. No one's perfect. But damn, what a mistake. But if your boy would do so, how many men go to prison? <laughs> how many men's on road? Let's rewind. That's one of my notes as well. <laughs> At that point, then <laughs> I won't say anything. At that point. There's lots of men. I'm going to stick to the prison part. Yeah. You go to prison for whatever reason. Yeah. Whether you did it or not, it's unfortunate for guys. But mm. you're in prison. You have a baby mother. You say to your best friend, your homeboy, your doggy dog. Yeah, your Cody. Yo, look after my baby mom. Yeah. Look out for my children. You look after all right. Mm-hmm. Not in the right way. But mm -hmm. you, ask, you ask your friend, just watch out for them. Make sure nothing happens to them while I'm inside. Mm. You see what I'm saying? But what usually happens? While I've heard this yeah, story so many yeah, times. But, yeah, but the thing is, this, while you're inside, he's inside. Yeah. 
and it's yeah. raining and it's raining. Get it? All sorts of things is happening. Tsunami yeah. and everything. Did it go over their head? <laughs> it shouldn't have. I think <laughs> it was very clear. But <laughs> I'm just uh. saying, you're in prison or you're in a sticky situation. Say you're even in hospital. Say something happened to you in your hospital. You have to stay there for, yeah, for a minute, peak. right? Yeah. And you say, just watch out for my children. Watch out for my baby mom. Make sure nothing happens to them while I'm gone. He watching that ass. <laughs> and <laughs> I hear this story way too many times in this situation and they end up the the baby mother or the girlfriend ends up doing things with the best friend Mm -hmm. sleeping with each other sometimes it's even worse they she gets pregnant she don't even know if it's her boyfriend or the friend's child because you're talking maury now yeah and do you know what's funny? <laughs> I, I've seen that multiple times on, on Maury as well. Yeah. But as the friend, first of all, put in the comments, who would you be more upset with, your baby mother or your friend? Well, yeah, put in the comments what you think. In my opinion of that, I understand female's nature. I'm going to be upset with my guy mm-hmm. because it's kind of like, um, what did that guy, was it Black Black Ink Crew? Where my man was sleep with... My mom's baby mom's wife for a couple of years. And then he tried to say, oh, I was going through all these problems. Just admit you were jealous of the dude. Just admit mm-hmm. you had that jealousy is envious for the dude. You felt many people, many dudes think, oh, by sleep over next man's chick, I, I somehow am the victor over him. Mm-hmm. I win. No, she was a skeezer and you're a bad friend. You're a shady dude. Yeah. Let's keep it real. Mm-hmm. What? Because you speak. Okay. So many people be like, oh, you heard okay you've heard two people say that's why f your b mm-hmm. okay cool no she's a skeezer we share that hole <laughs> yeah we share that hole literally but many dudes that don't understand how the player world works how the game really is is going to look at me and say well he was he was a better dude than you no she had poor judgment bad luck yeah you don't, ch- don't chastise me for her whole decision i would have thought that there's an unwritten bro code. Guys do have that. And ex-girlfriends, baby mothers, mm. girlfriends, wives are out of bounds. Mm. <laughs> They're out of bounds. It's not rocket science. And for some reason, little Fizz clearly didn't understand that. Or maybe he did, but out of jealousy, like you said. Look, Omarion is the lead singer in B2K. Mm-hmm. He got manipulated by april he was blue pill he thought she really wanted to be with him but what cult she coerced him into believing that she actually wants to be with this guy but there must have been some little snippet of hate jealousy towards this guy and then maybe in his brain oh if i smash his thing or i'm get with his girlfriend this means i've won Mm -hmm. i'm the victor now that the bag is effed up and she's gone. I'm sorry. I don't know about that. Yeah. I don't know about that. And that leads me on to a point of the effeminate man. <laughs> some some dudes be raised in single mother households and they think like women. Mm-hmm. And they think this is the best way forward. You should have you should have just addressed your guy. Don't get me wrong. I commend him for apologizing publicly mm-hmm. and saying, you know what? I effed up because you got some dudes be like, I don't even care. And really, really deep down their ego is like, you know what? That's effed up what I've done. Mm-hmm. So I commend him. I've got to give positivity where positivity is, right? So I commend him for apologizing. But you got to think, what was the reason for even doing it in the first place? Look how the whole situation got jacked up over. Uh... <laughs> yes. Where is she now? Uh, with um i swear she's with someone she else was dr dre <laughs> then she wore the next dude when the apology happened she posted in the swimming pool um she was insinuating i'm easy i'm good she played you omari never got played but two dudes could have got into a beef yeah two dudes could have got into a mad situation mm-hmm. because of this woman yep because of this female and that's the same that that's what this whole podcast is about Guys, screen, vet. 
She might appear nice. She might appear feminine. She might appear friendly. What? Just because a woman talks in a nice, soft spoken voice, she's not crafty. That's the most dangerous one. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Take it, man. What do you think? <laughs> yes. Sometimes the quiet ones are the ones to look out for. Uh. Um, sometimes they're not necessarily have a big mouth in that way, but they're real crafty. Uh Sometimes they'll go behind your back, tell people how you said something and twist what was actually said. What do you, what do you think, um, April Jones's objective was? Do you think it was to bun Omarion? It was to bun Omarion. She had her little intentions, what she wanted to do. She had her prime directives and she needed someone to do that with and little fizz and she saw an easy target exactly <laughs> little fizz unfortunately yeah. was that target but yeah. little fizz fell for it yeah man and that's what you don't want to do fall for the trap i could i could forgive a man for it but i ain't gonna forget and by me saying forgive it don't mean we're gonna be pally pally exactly i see what kind of person you are but just like in that situation with Amarion, yes you apologize publicly yeah okay cool I don't know if you genuinely are sorry. I don't know that. Yeah. Even though you did apologize so he publicly. So he is isn't. Doesn't really matter. Exactly. From what Amarian's side of it is, mm. whether you apologize or not, things are still the same. Now, yeah. I can forgive you. I would never forget. Now, I know what person you are. Say I... Yeah. People will typically judge people on their own standards, right? Yeah. And... Maybe that's maybe something Amara may have done, right? Yeah. And said, I would never do something like that to Little Fizz. Yeah, when, not, he, when, not, he, when he heard that, he was thinking, yeah, really? Not knowing that Little Fizz would do something like that to him, yeah, right? Digging up them guts. They've known each other for a long yeah, time. Yeah. From when I was in secondary school. <laughs> I know. They have been a group for a long time, right? Yeah. They're not scared anymore, but yeah, they've known each other for a very long time. And I'm sure Marion would never think that of all people, yeah. you would do something that, that like that. That was low. It was very low. Yeah. Very, very low. So I'm just saying, just because someone may, because he may say, I forgive you, but he would never forget what you did. Yeah. And now he knows where to place you. You see, when you say, put the person on a certain shelf. Yeah. Put them, put them, on a put them where they belong. Exactly. So now he's like, oh, I see what it is now. Yeah. I d- I'm disappointed. I would be too. I'm disappointed, but I, I know where to place you now. Yeah. I, I forgive I you, think, but I, I will think never Omarion forget. I think Omarion kind of knew like um, where to place him. Because like, as I said, Little Fizz never struck me as someone that was not even purple. But he just mm-hmm. naive to female nature. Yeah. He, he doesn't even get how the things set up. He doesn't get it from watching certain things yeah. and seeing how he rolls. He just doesn't get women. He no. doesn't. And not every guy does. It's unfortunate, but that's just how it is. That's why platforms like this exist. Cause we tried to break down certain things. We tried to level men up as giving them free game. What the, in the first two clips that lady gave free game. I didn't really have much to say. I'm giving you whatever I'm giving you for entertainment purposes. Mm-hmm. I could have just played the clips and that was and it. And that's it. <laughs> it's very true. But you want to hear us. <laughs> so we're going to say what we say. But um, I don't know about forgiving him. Put in the comments what you think, guys. Would you forgive your friend if they done that? You know what, ladies? If your friend <laughs> did that with your man or ex, ladies, if you were dating a guy and he's your ex, could be your baby father, you're not with him and you're bridging infiltrates the thing they doing their thing digging out guts and all types would you be cool with that would you be cool that your friends linking your ex-man or your baby father and she's meant to be your brethren mm-hmm. would you be cool with that put in the comments see the thing is <laughs> you have ex-man and you have baby father for me, that's two different things. Now, mm. I'll be angry if you got with my ex-man because you know that was my ex. That means she was always pre in your man. Clearly, <laughs> I would be upset that, yeah, you're dating my ex. That was, mm. that was my boyfriend. Mm. You know, I have I had feelings or whatever for this guy and yeah. you would do that. But when you, I, you've had a baby for someone, 
come on. April has, I'm pretty sure, two children with Omarion. Yeah. And you're sleeping, you're digging out my baby mother's guts. <laughs> Whether I'm with her <laughs> or not, did you not think about my children with there's, her? There's levels to, to this ish. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, man, put, put in the comments. Would you <laughs> would you be cool with your brethren? Would you be pally pally? Are you okay with that? What's your thoughts on it, man? <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> we know your thoughts. We know your <laughs> thoughts. And for me, I, I can forgive a man because I don't hold resentment and hatred in my heart. I'm a, I'm a positive person, but I'm not a fool. Mm -hmm. I see what's what. And I know how the game goes. I don't judge people on my standards. If your handshake don't match your smile, I know where it is. Mm -hmm. It's all good. It's all good. That's my thoughts on it. You have anything more to add? I'll just say to a lot of you out there, male and female, be better friends. So be, be better, better friends. friends. Stop yeah. snaking each other. So be better friends. As far as the little fizz video, mm -hmm. fellas, listen, sometimes you've got many crafty women out here and then you've got other women coaching them on. You go, girl. Listen. This platform exists to level you men up. You're strong. You're powerful. I believe in power. And um, power to the yeah, man, definitely with the first video, that was so much free game. We had, we had to break that video down. <laughs> but we took the, the, the sweet snippets of it. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on it, man. Put, put what you guys think, you know, what we said in the comments and we go from there. But anyways, we'll see you in the next one. I'm S Banks TV. And I'm JD Network. Peace. I'm out.